I, here I have the Ultra Experience Form. Not flow, but form. So this is a mild support version of their experience flow. Uh, that means you get, instead of a, a sort of ultra zero drop, you're getting a slight lift at the heel with four mil difference between the heel and the toes. Makes it that bit easier to run in, especially if you're new to you know, lower heel drop shoes. Um, you've got the same, um, you know, as ever, the ultra foot shaped toe box. Um, you've even got sort of your toe sort of elements there, indications there, um, which encourages your toes to flare and not to be pushed together and that will build more um, strength through your foot and strength through your arch and it's better overall for your posture. Um, and also great for those who are starting to get a bit of a bunion concern, these are ideal. You've got nice cushioning here, uh, it's not mega plush cushioning by any means but it's utterly you know, good enough for road running, um, just will feel a little firmer underfoot than say your normal Brooks or Saucony shoe. And then the support is coming, they've got a slight guide rail here. It's not that great support, the heel, cush um, heel support here is pretty mild, um, or sorry, the heel counter is not super strong but it will protect against a little bit of overpronation. The fact that the cushioning is not too, you know, it's not soggy, it's not super cush, um, that also means that, you know, you're, you're not on as an, un, you know, as an unstable base as you can in some cushionings, and you're lower to the, you know, a little bit lower to the ground, a little bit lower on the heel, um, so it's already encouraging more of a midfoot landing than your heel crash landing. Therefore, you don't need that much more support. That's their argument. Um, but if you're a strong overpronator, then I wouldn't, I'd say this is maybe not enough for you.